So I got my spindles all cleaned up. Just got to do the uh, kingpin bushings in now. Those are still the old ones. But uh, these clean up really well. The threads and everything are in really good shape. My uh, <coughs> bones are done. I just all I need to do is get the truck here and then decide whether I trim this piece off because I don't think it's going to be redundant because I'm going to do a spring over on the perch pin. But uh, they're all cleaned up, welds are smoothed, bungs are welded in the end. Just thread a bung there so you can put the tie rod ends in. Axle's all cleaned up and smooth. I uh, took the flashing off of it where the forged parting line was just because uh, on the bottom here it had actually been sitting in a field long enough to start some rusting and pitting in here. So I took the grinder wheels, the flapper wheels to it, cleaned all that up. It's all pretty much ready to go. One thing on this axle is uh, at one time somebody took a welder to the end of it. I've been looking at it real careful. I don't see that it's broke. I've got a feeling somebody welded on the end of it to get the kingpin to release as a means of heating the axle. That's the only thing I can think of here. But both ends have a similar web welding on it. It doesn't look like it was done in the factory. It could be wrong, but it just doesn't uh, appear to be factory. So Those are all welded in. Ready to go. Tie rod ends go on the end of the bones there. Go on to a bracket on the truck. The uh, brake brake parts got picked up today. That's the backing plate bolts onto the spindle here, and then the caliper mounts in here. So that's all the bearings and adapters and everything's in there. Calipers, pads, rotors are in this box. So the front end just needs to have the um, kingpins pressed in and I'll find somebody who can ream those out for me and then that stuff's pretty much ready for the truck to come back I bought this rear axle here this is out of a early 80's Toyota truck these are pretty heavy duty rear end actually it's nice because the center section just unbolts out of these pulls the pig straight out like a Ford 9 inch and then four bolts these aren't floating axle. I mean these are kind of a semi-floating axle. If you undo the four bolts on the backing plate, the backing plate, the drum, and the axle all pull straight out of the out of the differential so the axles are actually bolted in. Helps if you snap an axle you don't lose your wheel. So now I guess uh, work on kingpins and getting this cleaned up it seems like I'm getting out of hand here with the cleaning it up part because it's going to be a rat rod but at the same time I want this stuff painted flat black so the rust has got to get bucked off it a little bit but that's where I'm at at this point I'll talk to you later